Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my summer favorite products that I've been using a lot this summer and I think I can't live without them. So if you want to see my favorite products for this summer, then please keep on watching. So it's September and we're saying goodbye to the summer and it's time for one of my favorite seasons. It's autumn and I love I love this month, especially September because soon it's my birthday. And I really, really, really enjoy September and October. They're like my favorite months. And today I want to share my favorite that I've been using this summer products that I think really help me look fresh and help me feel good for the past couple of months. So for the first product that I already mentioned in my video and it's been a lot of in my empty videos is this Eucerin, Eucerin Anti-Age Hyaluron Filler Concentrate. This is this. This is how the packaging looks like. This one is used and abused. Six small bottles, and I've been using this a lot. I've been repurchasing it, and I really, really like this product. And I already have one that I'm using right now in front of me, and I use it every morning and every evening. And I feel like it really smoothed my skin and made my deep wrinkles that I have on my forehead are less deep and look more smooth. So I think this product really, really works and I've been using it, like I said, a couple of drops all over my skin every morning and evening for last couple, I think six months, if not even more. I think it's even more. I think I started using this last fall. So it's probably almost a year that I've been using these products and I love them. So I think this is one of products that I'm continue going to use and play with so I love I love this product. So the next product that I've been using for my hair is uh, this dark oil, Sebastian dark oil. This is very good for keeping your for protecting your hair from sun. You have to be careful just not to put, put a little too much because it's going to look very oily. But I use this on my mom's hair when we were on our vacation together. And she loved it. Her hair looked very, uh, so it looked very soft, healthy, and it had that nice glow. And she loved it that much that I ordered a bottle for her. She doesn't really use oils in her head, hair, but this oil made a big difference in her hair. She loves it. And it smells nice. I think it smells nice. So I've been using this one. It's a, it's a little bit expensive, but it will last a long time. I love this hair oil. The next product I've been loving is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. I used this and also the Melanie's one the whole summer and I really, really like these. They are not expensive, they are very cheap, but also keeps my eyeshadow on my oily eyelids, stay on for long hours, I have to say. So I love, love these products. Then the concealer that I've been using a lot this summer is Double Way Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer from Estee Lauder. I think this is a very nice, full coverage, lightweight concealer. I have it on today. I think this blends very nice. It doesn't crease on my skin. I do have very oily eyelids. This doesn't crease. Uh, very oily T-zone. It doesn't crease. It doesn't look cakey and heavy. I really, really like it. It works very nice with all of my foundation. So I do, do really, really like this. I also love the Makeup Revolution one but that one is empty. I don't know. I kind of destroyed that packaging last time I used it. It's empty. I have to buy the new one. I saw that they are going to release the f biggest size of that concealer and new foundation. So I love Makeup Revolution and I love their products. I'm definitely going to buy the biggest size of that concealer because I love it, but I also love uh, this one. So the next product that I'll be using... <laughs> If you know me and you are an old subscriber, you probably know that I'm obsessed with trying new mascaras. I have very, I think like I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but it's a very big issue for me. I have very oily T-zone and my eyelids are very oily, so it makes almost every mascara to transform down under my lower lash and makes me look like a raccoon. So I'm picky when it comes to mascaras, but the one that I a couple of years ago didn't like, but I'm obsessed with, and it's this one, Clinique, 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 I think it's pronounced, High Impact Mascara, this is 
uh, top seller in Sweden, one of the favorite mascaras here, and Kix Beauty Awards winner, and it's one of the top five mascaras in Sweden. This is my favorite mascara. I think I like it more than I like this one though. Oh, so this is a L'Oreal Paradise. I do like this fun, uh, mascara, but I think I like this one a little bit more because it it works a little bit better, better for me. So I love, love this mascara. This is my new favorite. And it is a little bit expensive, more expensive than L'Oreal, but I do wear makeup for at least 11, 12 hours every day. And I would like to wear it less, but I have to wear it that long because I do work eight, nine hours a day. And it takes me a couple of hours to leave my children to school and pick them up from school and uh, do some shopping. I do need to have makeup for at least 12 hours and I need to, it to look good. So I'm picky when it comes to makeup products. I try many products, a lot of products, and I love trying new products and new mascaras, but that one is my favorite right now. Okay, so the one product that I used a lot this summer and especially when I had a little bit of a tan going on is this Rebecca Stella Sunkissed bronzer. This bronzer, guys, uh, this bronzer is everything. Everything. It's very nice. It does look very dark on in the pan, but it's very nice and very buildable. It's it builds up to this nice, even sun-kissed look, and I love. I'm obsessed with this bronzer. I love it. I do like the uh, physician formula too, but that one di didn't really show up on my skin when I get a, when I had a little bit of a tan because I had a light one. I think there is a one that is a little bit darker than that one, but I don't have it. So I've used this and I'm obsessed. I love this, love this bronzer, my favorite. Then also I love this Buxom Celeste Buxom lip gloss, full on lip polish, Celeste. Now it's right, I'm obsessed. I've used it a lot every summer and every time, <laughs> I'm almost half done with this one. Every time I wear this, my husband thinks I have the most beautiful lips ever. And I do have something else on my lips today, but I'm going to put this a little bit of this on top. And it just brings this nice plumpy shine. It does plump my lips a little bit. I feel like it, like it. And I'm obsessed. I do want this in more shades, but this shade is my favorite. This has like some sparks of glitter in it. And it just brings this nice shine to the lips. I love it. And it feels minty on the lips. So if you don't like that, maybe you won't like this. But it's not too much. It's not sticky. And I feel like my lips always look beautiful when I have this on. And I love it. I'm obsessed. I've been wearing it almost every day, the whole summer. And I did try this when I did the Kix Beauty Awards of 2018. And I tried that product. Uh, in that video because what this is uh, the best lip polish or lip gloss in Sweden one of the best lip gloss lip glosses in Sweden and I love it I'm obsessed I know why people love it and this is the only thing that I've tried from box I think I think so that I own I don't know but I haven't tried any other product from any other lip product from that brand and I'm definitely going to check it out but they only look bit expensive Okay, the next product that I'm obsessed with is this one. This is Brazilian Crush Spray Body Fragrance Mist. This is my second bottle. I love this. I'm obsessed. Oh. I have it all on my skin. I have it in my hair, on my clothes. I'm obsessed. I love this. I know everyone sell, tells me that I smell beautiful, that I smell summer, and they love it when I wear it. Everyone around me. Oh. I got in some, some in my mouth. It tastes bad. <laughs> but I love this one. I love it. I'm obsessed. I love, I'm obsessed with all of the products from Sol Genier. I love all of their products. I'm obsessed with them. The body wash oh, smells so good and makes my skin feel so soft. I love it. I love this one too. And to continue with that brand, I'm going to say, tell you that this Sol Genier is the best the best body cream that I've used ever. This is Brasilia Bam Bam Cream. This is my third 
no second i used the smaller version then i used up one of these wait this is the one that i've used up i'm done with this one this is my second package the big full size and i love this i love this this makes my skin feel very soft makes me smell very nice makes me look glowy makes my dry patches not dry anymore I, this firms my skin and i love it and it's it's the only thing i'm using on my skin right now it's the only thing i want to continue using and i know i got some samples from other body creams and body body lotions and uh, body creams but this one i'm obsessed and i'm going to continue using it and it's the only thing i want to use on my skin it's the only thing and the last product i have here it's not skin it's not skincare it's not makeup product but it's something that helps everything else look good <laughs> this is the beauty beauty this is the blender blender cleansing solid pro and this cleans my beauty blenders or makeup sponges very nice it cleans my brushes very nice this is like a big soap it's stuck in here right now oh, there you go it's like a big soap and i love this product it cleans my skin cleans it cleans my brushes cleans my beauty blenders and my beauty sponges very nice it keeps the it doesn't destroy the shapes it does everything that it's it says like this our best selling beauty blender formula is now charcoal influenced providing especially cleansing results to effectively clean beauty blender and makeup brushes they include block the black silicone dish creates a scrubbing platform for makeup brushes as well as the perfect place to dry beauty blender and uh, soap and it's true this is the best product ever so if you haven't tried it haven't tried this one try it it is expensive but this will last you a long long time and i'm obsessed i love it so guys uh, i know you probably want to see my favorite eyeshadow palette and i have to be honest I don't have my favorite eyeshadow palette. I'm an eyeshadow palette collector. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I love almost all of them. I can't choose only one. I'm trying out uh, these right now and I love them. I also love uh, these. I do love my Anastasia. Let me show you. I also love these eyeshadow palettes palettes I love my Huda Beauty palettes I don't know I love many eyeshadow palettes and I can't choose only one so these are the products that I've been using the whole summer and that I really really like I do have new products that I've just started trying out that I'm obsessed with but still I am going to get I'm going to film that video sooner at in the fall a little maybe in one or two months because i do need to play with them a little bit more i do love them i'm obsessed but they are like new to my collection i have to say these are my summer favorites that i've been using the whole summer and loving so if you like this video and want to see more of these kind of videos give a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and be a part of and be part of Didi family don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload i upload three videos a week every monday wednesday and friday and i hope i see you in my next video bye